We've had almost 30,000 clicks and 1.3 million impressions in one year. You can see that there are some huge search volumes here. So 12K, this is a really cool way to just latch on and get some really easy traffic. And the really cool thing is I can just do the same thing again next year. Welcome to this video where I'm gonna be giving you a piece of SEO advice, which I can stand behind now because I have enough evidence to back it up. Now this goes against what a lot of traditional SEOs would say. Kind of the logic behind this normally is you have one article and then you change an article in the future. That will make sense in a minute. Let's talk about this trending tactic. So this is Two Men's Search Console. This is something that I've done across multiple businesses, but it's particularly obvious on Two Men. The trick, there is no real trick. It's literally keyword plus quantifier. And what do I mean by quantifier? I'll give you an example, 2024. That is a quantifier. It quantifies the article that you're writing about. This is actually insane. If I put this on 16 months, just by rewriting articles that I've already written before, but writing about 2024 instead of just a general article. We've had almost 30,000 clicks and 1.3 million impressions in one year, uh, in 16 months, but basically one year because this uh, it, it didn't happen until 2024. Uh, you can see the effect of this. Now, the really cool thing about this is something I talked about in a previous video, which is scaling. This content scales particularly well into different languages. I don't know why. It's something about how foreign language SEO works. I really don't know what it is exactly, but you can see that there are some huge search volumes here. So 12K, Herma Moda 2024, which I guess it'll mean men's fashion 2024, right? In German, French, German, German, I think German, Sweden. Okay, Sweden, interesting. So if we click here, we should see yeah, SV, which is Swedish, very, very interesting. So. This is a really cool way to just latch on and get some really easy traffic. And the really cool thing is I can just do the same thing again next year. Now the traditional SEO will sit here and tell you to change this URL to 2025, okay? I am here to tell you that I do not think that's the best way of doing things. What I would do instead is I would write a whole new article, this time for 2025 instead of for 2024. It's literally that simple. Like, I really don't think it's particularly difficult. I think you just write a new article and you write it about 2025. Now this has had some pretty insane results as you can see, like this is a pretty, pretty cool and interesting thing that not that many people think of and not that many people will tell you even if they do think of it. Now you can see potentially 2025 is now coming in. We do, we have some 2025 stuff right here. And you can see it's already getting impressions and getting traffic. Now, I don't know if that's because of 2024, which it is. You can see it's not really because of 2025. People are not really searching for 2025, except you can see here, 2025 gene trends. So there's something about, and I'm not even gonna say certain niches because I think this would work with any niche because people think that putting that quantifier of the year will give them or yield them better results, okay? So it's actually more common than you might think, and it's not just because this is in fashion, okay? You might be tempted to watch this video and say, oh, well, you're in fashion, and fashion, you know, fall, winter 2025 is already starting. That's why this works. I disagree. I think it's because people like to look for up-to-date information, and this is how a lot of people try and find up-to-date information. So I'll give you an example. Let's say you want to buy a laptop, okay? You do not want to know what the best laptop was six years ago. You want to know what the best laptop is or will be for 2025, let's say, for example. So what do you do? I'm guaranteed when I write best laptops, one of the auto suggests is going to be 2024. It's the first one, okay? Because this is how people search. People search for up-to-date information. That's why this works. That's actually pretty much it, guys. I just really wanted to show you this incredibly simple, incredibly easy way to get literally millions of impressions and almost 30,000 clicks. So if I just do 2024, one more time, put this on 16 months, you'll see 
26,200 clicks. That's almost 30,000 clicks just by adding a single word to the blogs, okay? And it's literally that easy. It's literally that easy. And, you know, these articles are not even particularly good. They're not even, you know, there's nothing special here, but they get really good traffic just because of the 2024 thing. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. If you're watching all the way to the end, you're an absolute legend, and I'll see you soon with some more content. Peace out. If you're enjoying this video, please consider subscribing to Harbor. Harbor is a software that basically has my brain inside it that we're working on right now, and we're trying to make it the best possible AI SEO tool on the market. You guys know how much I care about making something meaningful. That is the whole point of Harbor. We are really, really trying to make something meaningful, and we'd love to have you along for the ride. Hopefully see you there.